We've had an amazing le election campaign, a vast amount of effort by so many people. The most professional, the biggest campaign in the history of British nationalism. And in the teeth of a vicious media campaign, the likes of which has literally never been seen in this country. We're not talking about smears, we're talking about deliberate, brutal lies by the main newspapers in the country, The Sun, The Express and others as well. It's absolutely unbelievable what they've done to us. Despite the concerted attack of the entire establishment, the mass media, all the political parties, all the clergy, we've made some very significant breakthroughs. For a start, our results in the local elections on a huge swathe of the country are more than double the votes that we received at the last European elections five years ago. We can't compare the local election results now with then because five years ago we were standing in so few places that uh, it's really not worth trying to do. But um, a huge increase in our vote. And of course we've won our first three county council elections. And uh, this really is an important breakthrough. This is the, the top level of local governments uh, in Britain. Uh, before you start to get to devolved assemblies and so on. You can't go any higher than that. Uh, and many congratulations to Councillor Sharon Wilkinson, Councillor Graham Partner, and our new councillor down in Hertfordshire, uh, Deirdre Gates. Uh, it's very significant that in the case of uh, Sharon and Graham, they were already district councillors, and now they're taking another step up the ladder. They're doing so because they're known locally as really good local councillors, so they've been elected to serve the people at the higher county level. And uh, Deirdre, of course, is building on the fantastic work done by our local councillor Seamus Dunn uh, down there in Hertfordshire. It just shows the importance of building step by step. And just to win those three seats to this very high county council level will now give us four years of getting to know the ropes at that, length of, that level of government. It's very, very important indeed for us moving up on up the ladder. So uh, many congratulations to them and thanks to everyone who made it possible. Now, another thing which we've achieved is we've contributed in a very, very big way to literally the collapse of the Labour Party. Uh, in the last few days, in the places where we've, we've, we've been pressing to take seats, and there's been plenty of them, the Labour Party have literally thrown every councillor and every activist that they've got in a desperate attempt into keeping us out. It's one of the things which has led to the Tory party literally sweeping them out of county council local government. They don't control a single county council seat uh, council in the country now. It's a devastating blow to the Blair regime uh, in particular, but the Labour Party as a whole. They will not recover from this. They've lost so many people and they're going to be so battered. Uh, that the Labour Party is now on a, a downward spiral, I think in the end equivalent to what happened to the Liberal Party uh, early in the last century. They really are in terrible trouble, and their concentration on us, letting the Tories in elsewhere, is part of that. And we've contributed in a big way to the destruction of the Labour Party. That's really something to be proud of after everything those swine have done to our country. We've had one other huge effect, I'm afraid to say, that we and we alone are, I think, about to send well over a dozen UKIP MEPs to Brussels because that no-hope, useless, corrupt part of the establishment, the establishment safety valve, we pushed the media in particular this time to such extraordinary lengths to boost UKIP up to try and keep us out that um, they're going to go to Brussels in their droves. A few of them actually are good people and I'd far rather that people from UKIP who are genuinely against our membership of the European Federal Superstate are there in Brussels to try to stand up for British interests than the Lib, Lab or Con who took us into that monstrosity in the first place. But make no mistake, the leadership of that party is utterly corrupt, absolutely useless and it will go nowhere. Another five wasted years there in the European Parliament with those people. The UKIP surge is so strong that despite the fact that we've more than doubled our vote in the local elections, people have to understand that we are not going to win seats in the European election in most part of the country. We're, we're in still with a really serious chance up here in the northwest of England. Even if UKIP were to win two seats, we still have a serious chance of taking uh, a, a seat off the collapsing Labour Party. But um, it's uncertain. It's all to play for. So we might not win any. We've got a really good, serious chance still of winning one. Whatever happens, we've got 
thousands upon thousands upon thousands of new keen inquirers, follow-ups, hundreds of members coming in day by day by day. These are the people we've got to get out to now to involve them in our local community campaigning because we've seen from the way the votes have gone, we've seen where we've won, that the key to our long, hard struggle is patient grassroots community work such as none of the other parties do anymore. That's what we're really good at. That's what really pushes us forward. That's what we're going to carry on with. Well, whatever happens in this election finally on Sunday, we're going to sit down, and I can assure you already, we're looking at ways we have to take on the media directly to make more and more people understand what a lying, scheming bunch they really are and how much they distort the truth. So whatever happens on Sunday, we're going to carry on. I hope we'll carry on with a seat in the European Parliament, but whether we do or whether we don't, these elections mark the coming of age of the British National Party as a party which can mount and can sustain a really serious, big campaign against all the odds. We've done it now, we're going to be doing it again within a year for the general election. I hope you'll be there helping us along the way. Thank you.